Hey there, pluckers. I have a sore fingers again with you with hopefully a nice little interesting ditty for you. It's a classic intro and verse section of I'm going to leave you from uh, Led Zeppelin. OK, and also done by Pink, I think, and maybe possibly others as well. Um, I'm just doing the intro. OK, I'm not going to do the whole song. It's just it's just basically uh, like an exercise, uh, which is uh, played a very nice little sequence of chords. OK, so um, it's quite frustrating. Uh, I found it so anyway. <laughs> okay, it, it does take uh, quite a bit to get it to flow nicely. Standard tuning, no capos as you can see. I'm doing it in uh, A minor. Um, so the first phrase is the A minor chord, and you just basically arpeggiate five, four, three, and then the top E string open. So it's. And it probably sounds best if you upstroke the top E. You don't have to, but downstroke it if you want. But it picks it out better if you up if you up low, stroke it slightly. Yeah. Okay. Second phrase is a straightforward five, four, three, two. Again, if you want to upstroke the second string, you can, uh, or downstroke it. Depends on how you feel, or how you felt like the sound of it, I suppose. Go straight down, or you can pick up pick the second string. Okay, so now you've got the first bit. Okay, then you move. The next phrase is a. Uh, it's like uh, C with G in the bass. Uh, you move this second finger off the third string and put it on the third fret of the bottom E string. Leave the other two fingers where they are. OK, uh, and then add your pinky to the third fret of the second string. OK, and now you go six, four, three, two. Again, if you can up pick that second string, it sometimes picks it out better. But by all means, downstroke it. If you're happy with downstroking it, downstroke it. Okay. And then the second phrase of this chord is to just remove your uh, your pinky and play it without the pinky. So that's again six, four, three, two. Okay. So on this chord, it's so so far we've got this. Slower, okay. Okay. The next chord is a form of D7 and D. Is basically from that shape that you've got now. Okay. So you've got basically this C with G in the bass thing. Um, basically, keep the first finger where it is on that second string, first fret. Uh, move the second finger to the bottom E string on the second fret, and the third finger goes to the second fret on the third string, the G string, and pinky goes to the third fret of the second string. Okay, and this pick is uh, uh, six skin, six, four, open fourth string there, three, two. And then for this phrase, uh, this, this particular chord, the second bit of it is to just again remove your pinky. And then you end up with a partial D7. Same picking, 6, 4, 3, 2. So you've got, for this, this chord, you've got. Okay, again, if you want to up pick that last note, you can. Okay, so so far slowly. Sorry, do it again. Okay, and the last two chords are the way I'm playing it. I know there are different people 
use different fingering. I'm just using a basic F bar chord, playing the bottom E string, the fourth string, the second string, and the third string. Uh, so when we try the, uh, the let's try that again. <laughs> bottom E string, the fourth string, the third string, and the second string. And then finally an E chord, straightforward E chord, again bottom E string, sixth string, four, three, two. Nice and easy with that. Okay, and that's the first total phrase for the first phrase. So very slowly. second phrase is similar but slightly different <laughs> okay so the first we go back to the A minor for this is the second phrase this time you basically put your A minor but with pinky on the top E string on the third fret okay and you go five four three two uh, sorry let's do it again five four three one with your pinky on that third fret of the top E string. So. Then take your pinky off and repeat. So you do five, four, three, one, but open top E string this time. So the first phrase of the second time round is okay. Then Go back to, again, move it to this C with G in the bass shape. So this third finger goes up, leave the other two where they are, third finger goes up to the third fret on the bottom E string. But this time, add your pinky to the top E string on the third fret. Okay, and this time it's six, four, three, top E string. The second phrase of this chord again is to remove your pinky with it and put the top E string open. Same picking, six, four, three, top E string open. So it's so the second phrase so far is so to again. Then the rest of it is exactly the same as it was before. Move to this, keeping your first finger where it is, first fret, second string. Move your second finger up to the second on the bottom E string. Second, the third finger on the second on the third string, G string, and pinky on the third on the second string there. Six, four, three, two. Then take your pinky off and repeat. Six, four, three, two. Then the F again, and the E again, exactly the same as the first time round. And that's the two phrases that make up the intro and also the, um, the verse section.